As diagnostic specimens, we may receive anything from live fish. Someone may just come in, a fish farmer, with a bucket of live fish. We may have fit whole fish shipped in on ice. Uh, we may have, the unusual case is, is such as here when we have the, the organs that are actually dissected out by a trained fish pathologist at another location. Uh, but usually, typically we get the whole fish and then we do the, the dissections here ourselves to collect the tissues. Uh, in that most of our samples are coming in from uh, within New York State, many times uh, the fish will actually come in on ice and not be frozen. The quality of the diagnostic specimen can be so important in the whole procedure in that um, we need to have fish that are uh, either still alive but are showing signs of disease. That's our best specimen. Uh, once a fish dies, if the gills are still red, we usually have a pretty good diagnostic specimen in terms of post-mortem decomposition of the specimen that hasn't occurred. Once the gills are white, that tells us post-mortem decomposition has progressed to a really an unknown level and that may or may not confound our ability to get good diagnostic information because you have to think of the fish is out there in the natural environment. It's not in a sterile environment. And so once it dies, all the decomposition bacteria uh, start to do what they normally do and decompose the fish from the outside in Plus fish, just as any animals, have a normal population of bacteria in their gut. And those bacteria now start to decompose the, the fish from the inside out. And depending on how far those processes have, have progressed, uh, we may or may not be able to get any good diagnostic information. So having um, good partners out in the field that uh, can submit good diagnostic specimens to us is so critical to the, the whole process. Now there are times when we can actually go out and, uh, and collect our own samples, but many times that, that's not possible because we just can't be everywhere at once. And this is where we, we really rely on our partners at New York State DEC, Thousand Island Biological Station, Cornell Biological Field Station uh, to get us the, the samples that we need to do our work.